Welcome to this week's weekly vlog and welcome to March. Can we all believe it's March? And somebody like said this today and it shocked me. They're like, it's a month until Easter. And I was like, whoa, excuse me? Like what is happening? But it is March. Crazy to think what the past year has been like. Cause I feel like for most countries, March 2020 was the month we all want to forget. Like it was the month. You know, everybody hit massive restrictions in Australia. We went into that was pretty much our only massive shutdown. Um, and the world just went crazy. Uh, and it's been a whole year. Like, we're in March 2021. And it's just, it's just crazy thinking about that. And in case you're wondering, like, Ali, hey, I remember you saying, like, in last week's weekly vlog, it's your radio, so, like, you know what time is it? You doing much? It's 8.50 p.m. And I did have a very productive day. I just didn't feel much. But we can all blame Sarah J. Mass. Oh, God, just... I forgot. And I know I said this in last week's vlog when I was reading, like, the, uh, the first book. I forgot how amazing and addictive these books were. So I read a few pages Friday night and then didn't really look at it all weekend. And today, I think I was only on page 50, right? I was on page 50 this morning. Your girl's halfway now. This has been my day. I can't put it down. And I want to quickly... I've uploaded like this last week's weekly vlog that you've probably already seen. <laughs> but I just have to do thumbnails and stuff. And I want to do that really fast because I want to keep reading. And, oh, it's just, I hate reading these books because they just give you really unrealistic expectations of men. Like, I'm in love with a fictional character right now. And, like, I was in love with him previously, but now rereading it, I'm like, oh, my God, like, you're just the best. Where do I find you? Where do I find you in my life? And in case you're wondering, that is Reese or Rice and I don't know how, how you say his name. I'm in love with Reese, and oh, I know what's coming up, and I just I can't wait for it. So that's why I think I'm reading even faster because I'm like, I, I gotta get to like my favorite part of this book. I'm sorry, I'm just really obsessed with this series. I can't wait to read the, the two books that I haven't read and just get like whole new feelings. Like, oh, I'm, I'm once again so happy I decided to reread these books. So that was my day. I did go to training, hence the wet hair, because I've just come home and washed it. It was good. It was the first session that I rocked up to, and I didn't want to be there. Like, not because I didn't... Hard to explain. Not because I didn't feel like training. I felt like reading, that's for sure. Um, it just, it was a rainy day today. I had my weekend, and I was content to continue having my weekend and not have to go and leave the house. You know, it, I didn't want to leave the house for any reason, but I did. I went, got it done. So I feel better about that because I'll only be able to do four sessions this week because I have an appointment tomorrow night. So that's been my day. Is anybody else who read A Court of Thorns and Roses? Did you, like, I think everybody loved Reese, right? Maybe you didn't. If you, like, read the, the first three books or maybe read the whole series and you didn't love Reese, I really want to know why because to me he's just goals and I, I'll never get that so that's depressing <sighs> but since last week's vlog I showed you my planner we're excited about planning over here so let's go through this month's goals and let's like let's see what I can achieve shall we to do this month work on my 2018 photo book which I was meant to do last month and I didn't do clean my room <laughs> And get my YouTube watch later under 250. Another thing uh, I was meant to do last month and I didn't do. My goals for the month are to lose a total of 5 kilos since the start of the challenge. So I only have, I think, 2 to go. I don't know. I can't remember. I've got a, tr a tracker on my phone. Oh, 
I showered and my hair is falling out. Read one book. That is definitely going to happen. This will be done in a few days at the rate I'm going. Upload two other YouTube videos other than my weekly vlogs. Finish my 12 week challenge because I have pulled out close to the end in previous one and I'm determined to finish this one. And film more B-roll for weekly vlogs and didn't go so well today. You know. <laughs> Um, I'm doing this tracker thing again just because I really like to see the numbers. Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, doing that again. It also just feels a nice gap at the bottom. I'm so sorry if this shadow, like, I should do this better. But I'm really comfy at my desk. Um, then I'm just going to list everyone's birthdays. These are two videos I want to film this month and get uploaded. Quote, are we all surprised? Um, I was just feeling it. And I remember when I read this and I was like, okay. This is a good quote. It, yeah, it's from the first book. I'm not going to make you guess. You would probably already notice by reading Sarah Dermas, you'd be like, okay, Ali, you're obsessed. I know. Leave me alone. I'm in my own little world at the moment. And a workout tracker, except this month I put swimming, not walking, and I just want to go all the four Saturdays. I think on this Saturday they've got a carnival on or something, so I might have to go Sunday. Um, and I didn't get to go today because the pool was like sort of booked out, so... That's my goal, and that's my um. I think they call this a dashboard. The planner people in the in the community. This is a dashboard, I believe, a monthly dashboard. So it looks nice. And then I did I did all this yesterday, so I got all this stuff. It was good. Ticked off a lot of things. Oh, I just did that, so I can actually. Oh my god, an action shot, everyone! Action shot. Yes, done that. The only thing I didn't do was film my Disney years video but I can do that on Friday so but yeah that's my week exciting I'm not gonna quickly um do this weekly vlog at least make the thumbnail and then I want to go read because <laughs> I really want to keep reading because I know the good part's coming everyone the good part is coming oh my god stay calm stay calm stay calm. will I stay up till midnight tonight reading this book maybe will it be worth it a thousand percent Hello everybody and happy Thursday. Yeah, it's not, it is Thursday, isn't it? It is Thursday. I didn't go to training tonight because last night, I don't know what I have done to myself. I'm like really like bright in this kitchen. Um, sorry, last night, I don't know what I did, but I've clearly like pulled a muscle or just done something the wrong way. And like if I bend just like that, my back hurts. So I was like, this probably means I shouldn't go, you know? So I don't want to make it worse and then I can't walk or something. Like this is going to hurt. Oh God. Just putting something away in the pantry. And that is Mickey coming through the door. But it's someone's birthday today. Oh my god, I don't know how you're on the phone. Nah, I'm not on the phone. Yeah, it's someone's birthday today. Whose birthday is it? Gabby, come here. It's Kenny. It's Kenny. Woo woo. Oh, I she, stand over here. You're gonna face She really wants dinner, so that's why she's. <laughs> is it your birthday? I kept saying birthday before she kept going at me. Like, no. Is it your birthday? That hurts for me to bend down. Is it's it your birthday? birthday? Do you want dinner? Dinner? Do you want dinner? Is it your birthday? Caddy? Do you want dinner? What? You didn't say anything. Do you want dinner? Okay, we get you dinner. Yeah, Mickey wanted to take her to the shops because you can take your dog to Pet Barn here in Australia and we got some goodies. This one she won't like, but we all do because it smells amazing, makes dogs smell good. And then we saw these. There was three for ten. And they're just like little doggy treats. And look at that. This one's like a little donut. And these are little... Okay, we're getting you a dinner. And these are little cake pops. And they can even eat the stick because the stick is... It had it on here. It is a crunchy rawhide twist stick. Like... What? I didn't even know they existed. But then... This is what she really wanted. She destroys soft toys, but it's her birthday. 
so we got a one. It was two for 30, so we got Molly one. And it's just funny because we call Molly, Molly Moo Cow. And we got her this cow looking thing. Has no fluff in it, which is good because they just rip the fluff out anyway. Like it just, there's obviously fluff in the head. Oh, this is quite flat, but it has like, it has squeakers. Let's watch her face and I squeak. I need... Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know what that was. It's dinner time. Oh my God. <laughs> And then there's this big giant bear, which I sort of think Caddy is going to like the cow only because it has more squeakers. The bear does have a squeaker, but it's hard to find. Is that your bear? Where's his squeaker? It also doesn't have much fluff in it because, as I said, they just eat the fluff. Oh, there it is. Oh, sitting. Oh, oh, okay. You want it? So yeah, some. Sorry, she's just giving them stinky fishes. Oh, oh, it smells gross. But yeah, we might be crazy people that buy their dogs treats, but. Normally do. No, I don't know why I they think seem. This year we do because they were I, for me. I think because they were so sick. Yeah. Like it's almost like I thought we were gonna lose our dogs at one point. There we and go. It was just like such a bad end of last year and start. So they can have these another time, but we might cut like the donut in half. Cause you know, having two dogs is like having kids. You can't tell one that it's not their birthday, but the other one that it is, and they're like, why am I not getting treats? So that's why Molly got treats too. But yeah, that's pretty much my Thursday. I'd normally be at training right now. I'd have 15 minutes left. Obviously not there. Um, and last night's set was really crappy. Like, I hated it, to be perfectly honest with you. But I don't know what I did wrong. I don't remember doing any exercise last night that made my back hurt. I forgot what I was going to say. And I also think the last time I filmed was Monday, so I'm sorry. Tuesday, I got my eyebrows done. If you couldn't tell, they're like looking pretty good. Um, I'm also wearing that new foundation. What does it, how does it look? I think to see, I seem to think it's like going okay. So there's that. And then last night, you can ask Mickey, I came home, I ate dinner and I was in bed at eight o'clock. And it was, that wasn't because my back hurt. The back pain sort of happened a little bit after lying in bed for a while. I just felt so tired and I could honestly go to bed again now and it's only quarter to seven. But I feel so tired, so I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's Katty's birthday today, so an exciting thing. Even though a lot of people, a lot of people at the moment, if you like book a holiday, they pretty much think you're crazy and stupid for like booking a holiday. And you would know if you follow me on Facebook, which I'll leave that here. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, I did book hotel accommodation for next year which I don't see any harm in doing because we book direct through Disney and Disney like you get all your money back like you just I think you have up until 30 days before you leave and you'll get all the money back that you paid I've only paid a deposit and we just sort of booked it just to like lock it in just in case we can go next year so it's just like a one, we've locked it in at that price. Two, we can now make park reservations. And if it doesn't work out, we cancel it. But so many people seem to think you're insane if you're even considering it. And I'm like, I actually think it's quite smart because imagine the moment when everybody can travel internationally. Like, let's say that happens at the end of this year. You're, like, going to be dreaming if you don't think the prices are going to go up at Disney World and all that sort of stuff. Because all of a sudden, all these people who haven't been able to travel can, can almost guarantee, I think, prices will go up. So, yeah. We have booked something for next no, year. You yeah, you got to go to toilet first and you get your toys. So, yeah, we have booked something for next year. I just want to put out there, I'm not stupid. I would not go if it's not safe. I would not go if I don't have travel insurance. And obviously I wouldn't go if my government doesn't allow me to because a lot of people seem to think you would. And I'm like, never said that. Like, we're just, I'm just locking this in just so I have something, you know? 
give me some hope and something to look forward to because otherwise my life is boot camp and work like training and work I can tell you right now that is not a fun time there's nothing to look forward to and it's quite depressing so this gives me something to dream about you know any sort of holiday I just need I need a good decent holiday so I saw put that out there because a lot of people were a bit like eh, I wouldn't have done that I'm like that's great you didn't have to do it but I can do it and you don't have to tell me that I can't all right I'm gonna give these dogs her bloody toys got to get up again and my camera is flashing red because I'm really good like that so yeah I updated you happy Thursday hopefully for you in tomorrow will I lose weight probably not but no oh, that happens so I said that last week though but I don't, I don't know if I can pull it off two weeks in a row hello everybody and happy Friday sorry I'm filming this on my phone and the Sun is really weird right now so I'm trying to hold it like close to my face because otherwise yeah it looks like that but it's Friday I'm actually very excited by that fact um, if you couldn't tell I am waiting for training to start so I'm just sitting here in my car yes I um, am going to training today didn't go last night but my back still hurts, but I really want to do three sessions. I'm just going to have to be careful when I'm bending over and just modify exercises like where I can. By the way, I'm filming this from my front facing camera, not the back, so I can see myself. Um, but also because I just wanted to test how good the front was because I haven't actually filmed like this yet. So um, we're going to see how great this quality is. If not, future Ali knows not to use her phone yeah it's Friday um, it's WandaVision finale day so that's definitely what I'm gonna do when I get home and eat dinner um, apart from that today was like a really boring work day I feel like work at the moment I have so much to do it's a little bit stressful and I'm just really looking forward to like this weekend and not doing much because it's just how I feel at work I feel a bit I guess overwhelmed at the minute and like there's a lot there's a lot going on and I just need to wrap my head around certain things and I think we all have those moments and that's just the week I felt like at work so I'm glad the work week is over I'm not gonna ramble on as much as I did last week but do we think I've lost weight this week no I don't think I have mainly because well I've only done this only my third session for one I've eaten pretty good most of the week but last night I do have to admit I didn't feel like cooking, my back hurt, we went out to get Cadbury's presents, Mickey didn't feel like cooking, so we got kebabs for dinner. And like, there are way worse things, because when I look at it, a kebab is meat with salad, and like, I always just get garlic sauce, that's my absolute favourite, I don't know how fattening garlic sauce is, um, but I'm like, it, surely it can't be too bad, but yeah, I had a kebab last night, but it was so so, I, I'm not saying I haven't lost weight just because of that. I just feel like I don't lose weight as fast as other people. But we'll see. If I come out and I'm more like, guys, can't believe I lost weight. But I really I really don't think it's, that's going to happen this week. Like, I think I just got lucky last week. And this week's going to be a different story. <sighs> so, yeah, that's where we're at. Let's talk one division for a second. What do we all think is going to happen? Like, by the time we see this video, those of us who are watching will know what happened. Um, but these are my theories, so feel free to, like, fast forward a bit or something if you don't want to hear. Um, obviously, I don't know what's going to happen because I haven't watched it yet. But my theory is, I think, like, I don't know about a lot of things, but I feel like Doctor Strange might appear in the finale. Um, and I'm not the only one that thinks this. I know a fair few friends who think the same thing. And then I think that's going to help lead into his uh, TV series that's coming out later in the year. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see tonight. But that's like the biggest thing that I think is going to happen. Um, I think Vision will completely die. Like, fake Vision. Uh, I don't think he's going to hang around much longer. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what else. I hope Agatha hangs around because I love her <laughs> she's like my favorite character but also like what the hell happened to Darcy and well we know Darcy's in the hex but like what happened to um is it Dr. Wu oh that guy and Monica like what 
where are they? We haven't seen them in episodes. Like, what are they doing? I just don't know. So I hope we get... I'm sorry, I'm holding this with one hand really dodgily. <laughs> I hope we get, like, a conclusion to that because I just feel like you just didn't hear from them. You're like, okay, don't know what happened to those guys, but sure. Um, And what else? I don't know. I think that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to go to training now. I'll check in with you after, maybe, if not when I'm at home and when we're watching WandaVision. I just really hope I don't hurt my back more because... I really want to go swimming tomorrow, but if my back really hurts, I just I don't think I'll even be able to do like like a normal freestyle stroke. It would just hurt too much. Okay, I'm sorry if this is really wobbly. <sighs> Catch up with you all after. I so haven't lost weight. Look now my fingers in the way over here. I'm so not good with this. <laughs> Quick update: I lost a hundred grams somehow. I would have lost more, I reckon, if I'd have been able to do four sessions. And yes, I hurt my back. I'm going to go home now, but look, I'm still all sweaty. It's gross. I need to turn the car on, air con, and buy light. <laughs> right. Have my normal camera. It is a lot later now. It is like nine something. Nine ten. Just finished watching WandaVision, and I just feel disappointed. Like, I feel meh about it. I don't know what I was expecting, but I think because everybody was coming up with these theories, I expected more, um, which maybe like I shouldn't have. And I'm not a big Marvel fan, so if I miss something of significance, please let me know. But um I don't I don't know. The only thing I could compare it to is like when The Mandalorian ended, like season 1 or season 2. It felt like it wrapped up nicely, but you still wanted more. Whereas this, I was just like, and that was it. That was like, I was like, this whole the whole episode. I was just like, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't have any feelings or thought. like I, the episodes before it. I think were way more amazing. And like I said, I think it's because we've all worked up these theories in our head. So let me know below. Did you like it? Like, I, compl if you loved it, like, good on you. Like, there's nothing wrong with loving it. You can love it with with all your heart. I just felt meh about it. But yeah, let me know if you really enjoyed it. Um, I think the series was good. I really struggled to get past those few episodes. I think the storyline was brilliant, the way it connected. But obviously they're going to have bigger and better plans, I'm assuming, in the future. But I guess in my head, I was hoping some things would go a different way. Like, I was secretly hoping the kid, Evan Peters, who played Pietro in X-Men, who also appeared in WandaVision, was actually Pietro from X-Men somehow. Like, even though it doesn't make any sense for the Avengers storyline because he died. And this is where Marvel gets really confusing. He died, but then he was also an X-Men. Um, even though I know Marvel didn't create... Okay, Marvel, the Marvel cinematic people at Disney didn't do the X-Men movie, so that's why it's disconnected. But I thought that would have been cool. Um, I really wanted Agnes to be a mentor. I was sort of hoping Doctor Strange would pop up. Um, um, I assumed, I assumed that, you know, Wanda would be all like, okay, I should really, shouldn't torture these people anymore and, you know, bring the hex back in. But... I don't know, I just expected to go down a bit differently, I guess. Um, and then to, she's become the Scarlet Witch, which I don't know the significance of that either. I'm really sorry. But just from listening to Agnes, she sounds like a really evil person. And now she's trying to control her powers, whereas it would have been cool if she had kept Agnes around to help her, like, nurture her powers and become so strong. So I wish Agnes wasn't so focused on just stealing her powers. I don't know. I don't know. Like I could be like I could be completely wrong. This in a few years, because we all know how long Marvel takes, could all make perfect sense. It probably will. But it probably will make perfect sense in a few years' time. But at the moment, I'm just feeling like. Wait, what happened to the other Vision? Did he just disappear. I actually don't know. I don't remember the White Vision, the fake, the non. Okay. The real vision, but not really fake vision. The white one. What happened to him? Did we see? Did he kill himself? I don't know. Oh man, now I'm even forgetting. But 
there you go, that's how I feel about it. So I'm not going to get out of these sweaty clothes. I'm going to have a shower and I'll check in with you all tomorrow. I just wanted to share my um, thoughts and feelings around that episode. Um, and I'm sorry if you really enjoyed it and my comments have angered you. But that's just how I feel. Like a lot of people hate a lot of movies that I like. I don't let it get to me that much. Maybe sometimes I do. Like, don't you dare hate on Twister. That is like the best movie of all time. Probably isn't for a lot of people, but it is for me. <laughs> hello, hello, and happy Saturday. Uh, what is that song? Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the real words, but I'll just sing a tune. Let's all just ignore my hair. This is called the I Can't Be Bothered to Wash My Hair Yet look, and I'm gonna wash it tomorrow night. So. Of course, she finds her cow when I bring the camera out. Um, but yeah, it is Saturday. I didn't go swimming because my arm, it, my back, arm, back, but you, you'll see what I mean. My back isn't hurting as much as it was like earlier. So it's like almost like working out helped it, which is a, weird. I don't know what I did. Anyway, um, but when I do like that, I can feel it pull. So I just didn't want to go swimming because obviously I, I do freestyle. And it's just that continuously. So no swimming today. Currently I'm the only one at home. That's why I can sit out here. And I just want to put out an accomplishment. This dress, okay, like it still doesn't look baggy on me. But it's definitely not as tight as it used to be. And that, my friends, is an accomplishment. Woo! -hoo -hoo. And I was considering going in. I can't say it because of a certain miss. But going in that thing, the blue thing, right there. You all get what I'm talking about? That's outside and has water in it. So I was considering going in that maybe later. But one, I have to take brown fur child because she just gets so upset if you don't take her. And then two, it's like summer. Actually, we've just gone into autumn here. No, yeah, autumn, yep. Um, because we're opposite to America. We've just gone into autumn here, uh, but still there's heaps of frogs around and cane toads. Oh, I just, oh, I hate them so much. Like just frogs and cane toads. I don't know why. I, I know frogs don't hurt you or anything, but they can just jump anyway and you don't know which way they're going to jump and that just scares me. So, <laughs> but they often swim in our pool. Like we'll find them in the pool. Obviously we save them or pull them out if it's a toad. We obviously try and kill it because they are a pest here um, in North Queensland. Don't know if they're a pest anywhere else in the world, but they definitely are here. So most people just kill them. <laughs> but frogs we often will let out. And I mean, if we find them while they're still alive, we will let them out of the pool and put them in the garden. But that's like another fear is like sometimes you're like, oh, it looks fine. You go in and then a frog just comes out of nowhere. And I'm like, no, 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 F this, I'm out. Like, I can't, I can't. I can't, so I may or may not do that. Um, I can't always have some Disney on in the background. I tend to do this on my Saturdays, even if we had have gone swimming and then came back home. We just chuck on some whatever videos sort of pop up on my YouTube recommended, which is usually Disney videos. But then it's really bad because I don't go through my watch later. I just watch all these videos that get recommended to me. It's like a bad, vicious cycle that always happens, so. Yes, but I am facing a dilemma. So my current, oh, sorry. <laughs> my current 12 week challenge ends in four weeks and I don't want to lose my fitness that I've just like got back. You know, I'm feeling stronger, better, can do things and all that. The next challenge doesn't start until May. So they take a, about a five week, six week break. And I am doing the next one. I already signed up for it, very excited. Gonna do it again because I'm just, I'm actually really loving it this time. So that's exciting. But today they announced they're gonna do like a, a little mini, like just if you wanna keep up your exercise, you don't have to pay as much for those few weeks in between, you know, you can sign up to do that. But the only two options are one, 5 a.m., which I hate waking up that early. The, the like pro, biggest pro is I'm literally like, I could walk 
almost to the destination where that session is held. I can do that session normally too, but I choose not to because I hate waking up early. The next one is at 5.30. They're the only two you can pick from. And 5.30 is at a location I absolutely hate. It is completely outside, open to the elements, no shade, no fans. And also, like, I would struggle to get there after work. So, I don't know. Like, do I just suck it up? It's four weeks. Can I just wake up at 5 a.m. for at least three days a week for four weeks? Like, I feel like I can. But right now, I'm just like, oh, that's a lot. Like, that's a lot to ask for. <sighs> but that's, like, the dilemma I am currently having. But anyway, Mickey has gone to the shops. She might get a sneaky meat pie or sausage roll. So if she does, I will film that when she gets home. Um, oh, and we also spent this morning ordering a whole lot of candle scents to try and make some more like Disney inspired, um, not candle flavors, <laughs> candle smells, you know. So we were just trying to research smells of different lobbies and whatnot and just see if we could try and match it with the fragrances we can buy from um it's called aroma here in australia is what we use and they have like massive warehouses in brisbane sydney melbourne probably perth as well i assume but they're the ones where our stuff's coming from um and we just buy fragrance oils for them to from them to make our candles so we brought a whole heap and hopefully we can try and replicate some Disney scents so then our house will smell like Disney and just because we've really enjoyed candle making and in the long run it is saving us so much money so yeah there's that happy Saturday what do I plan to do this weekend not a lot um you'll notice that about me I don't like having plans on weekends especially when I'm doing like a work and then training like on the weekend is like my me time it's my reading time it's my editing time it's my doing content scheduling time it's my catching up on youtube time watching movies time you know it's like me time obviously if my friends or people said hey ali do you want to go out i'm not going to say no but that hasn't happened so it looks like i'm staying in and that's, and that's that. Look, I got my plain pie. Yeah, I only like plain Look. beef. Very excited for it. Now it's gonna get tomato sauce, and we're good to go. I'm excited.